Hi Sagittarius and welcome to your October 2019 reading. I am using a woodland spice candle, water element, and scent. Was burning a cinnamon cone. I have spirit. Hold on guys, my cards decided to drop. I have a spirit quartz black tourmaline pyrite. And a pink titanium crystal here for you guys. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to get this situated here. <coughs> I call on my guides and your guides and all beings of light to assist me with this reading and that you get a clear and accurate message for you. I'm seeing the angel number 17. And I'm seeing the skunk as an animal guide for you for this month. And also, for some reason, the badger. So those are energies you can look up later if you feel guided. Sorry, guys. These are being difficult to shuffle right now. I don't know why. Just move my coffee or my tea over a little bit. I don't bump it. Okay. There's a couple more. <coughs> Sorry, guys. So you have courage upright. So this is a good card to have, you know. This is about understanding your own limitations, I feel, for this month. A lot of you are going to be feeling, <clears throat> sorry, connected to spirit. A lot of you are going to feel like you need to stand up for your beliefs and what you and you and what your loved ones will or will not handle over the holiday season. I feel like a lot of you are just wanting to settle in and enjoy what the energy is bringing. And this is taking courage to say no to certain outings and certain community awareness. I'm hearing community awareness activities. So I'm not sure what that means. Some of you are going to have to say no. And then some of, you know, the people around you are going to be like, well, why? And you're just like, I want to stay in and watch, you know, movies and enjoy the atmosphere, you know, with my family. So... You're going to have to dig to that point of courage and understanding that you're okay with people being judgmental because you're doing what's right for you and your family and your safety and security is what I'm seeing from spirit. And then we have eight of roses reversed and it's signals. So again, you're going to feel like people are going to give you, they're not going to give you signals. They're just going to say it bluntly. I feel and you're going to be blunt with them and you're going to, it's not a rude thing it's just you want to cut out as much drama as much energy as you can because you want to focus in on receiving and not so much giving which is fine because you're you guys have this attitude is what I'm hearing from spirit is Christmas is for that you know Christmas is for giving and I'm going to try to receive you know so and I'm seeing my hand is like cramping up. I don't, I don't know if one of you or some of you have carpal tunnel because they're showing me I'm getting some pain right in here. And then I'm seeing on the computer typing with the keyboard. So some of you might need to take some more time to rest. And this is where this courage is coming from. You might have to lay some laws down at work, <laughs> not to be rude, but to be, again, blunt and be assertive and be like, I'm sorry, I can't keep. I got to move around. I got to do other things. Um, so some of you might have to take some time off. But with this card, the power upright, the emperor is just saying that you are feeling more victorious in a way when it comes to your month of October. You want to feel more in sync with spirit and in sync with what your environment is accompanying you with and not necessarily you bowing down to everyone's you know needs and wants um especially in the workplace i'm seeing there's been a lot of what spirits showing me is rolling rolling of dice and just chaotic energy 
So it's just been kind of hard on you and you're just like, you know, I'm tired of always sacrificing my energy when I'm not even being completely restored before I go back out in the community, back out to my family gigs, back. And what I mean gig is, gigs is I mean, you know, family uh, gatherings. I'm sorry, that was probably the wrong word there. But, you know, going to work and things like this, you're just wanting to just relax, okay? Then you have the professional in reverse. So again, you are you're understanding that, you know, your the professional field is important to you, but it's not always about work and it's not definitely always about being perfect, looking perfect to everyone. You know, you could be a professional, but you could also be a human being, you know what I mean? You could be someone that is just wanting to confess their woes and just let people go is <laughs> what spirit's telling me so it makes people want to just stay away for a while because and it's a defense mechanism it's not a, a negative thing you're not trying to bring people down you just want to be like look i need a couple days to feel sorry for myself and i'll get back to the professional stuff later you know i'm being professional by saying no and not going in and making things worse is what i'm hearing from spirit so you guys are going to be feeling that kind of vibe this month and then you have the mover in reverse. So again, you are done with moving mountains for people. You're moving it for yourself. And even if it's not making big changes and moving furniture around the house and trying to make everything seem Charlie Brown-like, you know what I mean, is what Spirit's telling me, you are moving energy within yourself, within your capability of energy, you know, you're not allowing this threshold to just take over you. You're you're working with it in balance, okay? I feel like there's two more cards. Support. So, yeah, that's spirit saying that you're being supported, you know, and your choice to back off a little bit, it, to say no, to take this time to rest and not be so up to par and perfect, Okay. The last card is success. So again, this is you being having this success, having this support <clears throat> with your career and your family life and your your self love and you are understanding that hey, I don't constantly have to always work for work. They could work for me in a way and let me be for some days, you know, have that PT PTO time off. Or go into work and say, hey, I'm not going to be the best of my ability today. I'm just letting you know, you, you know, because you don't want to be dishonest. You want to be upfront and be like, I might need some help today. I'm just not feeling it. And you will get that support. You will get that success. And you still will look professional. But you might be a professional that is still growing and learning. Um, you are under, they're, they're understanding that you're being honest and loyal and you are not being, uh, dramatic and you're being helpful by giving them the information they need to acquire to help you be supportive, to help you get there to that professional level and understanding that it's also about being personable, you know, is what I'm hearing from spirit. So I do hope that this makes sense. I hope you have a great month. It looks like a very successful and very low-key month for you guys. If you have any comments or questions, leave them down below. I will leave links down below for my patron and also my website. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. And thank you again for your support. Blessed be.